Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome back to our channel. In case if you are new to this channel, means please subscribe to our channel. Well, now in this video, I am going to share you how to clone Windows OS from one SSD to other SSD. So now in my PC, I am having a different drives. So in the C drive, so it is actually having only 222 GB of a total capacity. So often I am facing a storage issues. So because of this issue, I am going to increase the C drive size. So for that, I have installed a new SSD. So firstly, you need a new hard disk or SSD. So then only you can able to so clone the Windows 11 or any Windows OS so from one ssd or hdd to other ssd or hdd so now i am actually installed the one tb ssd in my pc and likewise you also need a hard disk or a ssd storage and uh, make it sure that in that ssd storage in case if you are already having some of the files means just back up that so because during cloning process so all the data will be deleted and you can't able to recover that so just back up and make the drive as empty now i'm going to move this local disk c drive so from this drive 222 gb drive to so 1 tb drive so for that i am going to use a one tool which is called aomei software so i have given the link in the description so this is a software aomei backup or professional so once you get this application so it is one of the very good tool so for backing up your pc so it will actually back up in the organized manner and the software ui is also very clean and there is no ads or bloatware like that so once you get this application so here is the option called clone just click on that and uh, here you will get your option system clone just click on that so once you click on that now it will actually ask for the destination partition so you have to select your uh, new disk so which you are going to copy the uh, windows 11 os so i am now going to select this new volume 931 gb is actually available and after clicking on the next option so here is the some of the disclaimer so as i already said so in case in your drive there is any data means that will be permanently lost so you have to make sure to back up that first or else it will be deleted permanently and after the just click on the ok option now here is the operation summary so now these are the partition going to be copied to the new volume t drive so this drive is having a 931 gb and this drive is having a total of 222 gb only so once a clone is done means so the windows 11 os is completely moved from this drive to newly installed installed the drive and all the uh, softwares application app data and uh, settings which are all also moved along with the so windows 11 os and after that here is the option so make full use of disk space just a tick mark that and after that in case if you are using ssd means so just a tick mark this option so i am using the ssd and in case if you are using the hdd based storage means so don't tick mark this and if you are using ssd means just a tick mark this and after that leave it this option as it is so uh, don't do anything and after that just click on the start clone option so during cloning in case if any application is running in the background means so it need to be uh, closed so that's why the message is actually coming so just to click on the yes option in case if you have any background application running means it will be automatically closed and this cloning process will actually completed after restarting only and again click on the s to restart the pc so now the program is actually preparing for the restart mode so once the preparation is completed it will be restarted automatically and after that the cloning process will be started now the preparation has been completed by the program so the restart will be started soon so now the pc is actually restarting now Now as you look at that, so now the AOMA backupper has been restarted so in the bootable version. So this process will actually run after the restart and the AOMA backupper will be automatically runs on the boot up during restart. So once the AOMA backupper started working on the boot up, the cloning process will be started automatically. So far more than 50% has been uh, completed copying and uh, during cloning process, so before that I already said, so during the cloning process there will be an option ssd like that so you have to check mark that so once you enable that so the transferring speed will be good so i, I am actually transferring about more than 200 gb of storage from uh, ssd to ssd so i am already using ssd only so from ssd to ssd only the transferring is actually doing and so far 58 percentage has been completed so the transferring speed is good only so i have actually started uh, so 15 minutes before so it's actually going well without any 
issues and once the transfer is uh, completed successfully it will be automatically restarted again so now the windows 11 will be starting up So now the uh, cloning process is completed and the PC is uh, again restarted. So now let's check uh, how it actually looks. So now first of all just to go to the file explorer. Now as you have seen here, now we are having a two local disk and this is a new disk we are actually copied. So, so this is the old disk which is actually having only 222 GB of total size. The new disk is having a, it's a 1 TB of a disk drive. So all the windows related uh, OS files and uh, software files will actually copied from this old drive to the new drive so the old drive is, is this is and the new drive is this one so you can now just change the boot option in the UEFI firmware settings and after done that so you can simply uh, delete this local disk C for uh, you can just format this and you can create a new simple volume and you can use this uh, drive as a additional extra storage as per your wish or else you can use this SSD in other uh, something uh, pieces like that for the for using this same uh, windows 11 os so in this way you can easily able to clone your windows 11 os from one ssd storage to another ssd storage in this way you can also so increase your c drive storage so once you finally change the boot option in the ufa firmware settings and it will be finally done now to change the boot order so you have to go to the ufa firmware settings for that just to go to the settings option and there just to go to the windows update and here go to the advanced option and uh, here click on the recovery and click on the advanced startup just to click on the restart now option click on the restart now now here comes the advanced setting page now here you want to just click on the troubleshoot option and after that click on the advanced option and uh, here you want to click on the uefi firmware settings just to click on that and just to click on the restart option now you will get a uefi firmware setting page now here comes the uefi firmware setting page so here you want to just to click on the boot option so now once go to the boot option here is the all the boot option priorities so priority 1 priority 2 priority 3 priority 4 so in the boot option priority 1 so you have to give your latest ssd storage so for which ssd you are actually copied the windows 11 os so you have to use that ssd storage so now my ssd storage is at 1 tb so just to select this 1 tb ssd as the boot option one priority and that's it now just to click on the exit option and click on the save changes and reset and after that just to click on the ok option and that's it now the changes will be saved and uh, now the windows lawn pc will be actually booted from the new ssd storage now as you can see that the, now the windows lawn voice is actually start up and the pc is also logged in now we have actually boot up the windows 11 os so from the newly copied uh, ssd storage so now as you can see here so once you go to the file manager here is a local disk c so once you change the boot order so the local disk c now will become with a higher size so having a 930 gb and a free space of 700 gb in previous time the local disk c is actually having only 222 gb so in this way you can easily able to increase your c drive storage size also and by just cloning your windows from one ssd to other ssd using the aoma backup uh, software so and uh, here is a local disk g so which is the previous drive which is uh, which is a previous drive act as a local disk c so you can now use this drive as uh, any external drive like that you can store any files like that you can just uh, format this drive and make it is uh, as empty drive and you can use it for uh, any other uh, data usage like that for as per your need well now in this way you can easily able to increase your storage size of local disk c by just cloning the windows os whether it's a windows 11 or 10 so just to clone it from ssd to hdd or hdd to ssd using the aomei backupper so i have given the aomei backupper software link in the description so just to download that it's a very useful software so you can easily able to clone the windows 11 pc and you can uh, organize your backups well using that software so it is uh, one of the best software 
software for backing up and cloning windows os well now that's it for today video guys and hopefully if you guys like this video hit the like button and if you are new to this channel means please subscribe to our channel below and thanks for watching this video guys